Welcome to my channel Black Sheep Logic. Today I thought we'd take a look at this Fluke 117 digital morning meter. This meter was reviewed by Dave Jones some time ago and one of the comments which Dave Jones made about this meter was that it was not suitable for serious electronic use. He didn't elaborate on what serious electronic use actually means. I guess there were two major criticisms of this meter if I remember correctly from the review. One was that we only have a single amps jack here, we don't have milliamps and microamps. And the other one was that the capacitance range in this meter was not particularly good, which is a fair criticism. The Fluke 117 is a basic meter, but it has the standard functionality that I think you need in a meter. It is limited if you really need milliamps and microamps, but how often do you actually need to take current measurement? If I'm troubleshooting a circuit and I need to make a current measurement, that would mean that I would have to break into that circuit and put the meter in line. And that's really inconvenient, so it's not something I would typically do. Capacitance is not particularly useful unless you remove the capacitor from the circuit. Neither the current or the capacitance ranges are a limiting factor if you're trying to troubleshoot a circuit. They're really not used that much. For basic troubleshooting, I think this meter is perfectly adequate. I like it because of its size, it doesn't take much room on the bench, it's reasonably quick, it's a good safe meter. But let's take a look at this meter and see how it performs. With the selector and AC volts, I can see on the display I have approximately 240 volts AC. Here I'm looking at the output of my 120 volt transformer. With the selector moved to the auto volts position, the meter will automatically select between DC and AC volts. And I can see on the display I still have 240 volts AC, and this is being displayed in a 600 volt range. Although I have lost one digit of resolution because the auto volt is a fixed 600 volt range. The auto volt function on the Fluke 117 is low impedance. Here I can see approximately 17 volts AC. If I move the selector to the auto volt function, that is an example of the ghost voltage caused by the line running very close to a live conductor. When measuring AC voltage, the Fluke 117 can also display frequency. Having pressed the alternate function button, I'm displaying approximately 50 hertz, which is what I would expect. I have this meter connected to a 12 volt power supply and with the selector function moved to DC volts I can see I've got 12 volts which is what I expect. Using a 1 volt reference I can see the meter is showing me 1 volt. This is 5 volts and this is 10 volts. So the meter more than meets its specification. Here I'm measuring 5 volts and I have a resolution of 3 decimal places. Although this is a 6000 count meter, the meter is still displaying my 6 volts with 3 digits of resolution. And now I've dropped 1 digit of resolution. The Fluke 117 also has a millivolt range for both AC and DC. Millivolts AC is the default, but I can select millivolts DC by pressing the option button. Using my reference, this is 1 millivolt DC. The resolution is 100 microvolts, and I can step up in 100 microvolt steps. This is 1.5 millivolts. This is 2.5 millivolts, 5 millivolts, 10 millivolts, 50, 100 millivolts. Moving the selector position to ohms, this is a 5 ohm reference, this is a 10 ohm reference, this is a 100 ohm reference, 500 ohms, 1 kilo ohm, 2 kilo ohm, and 4 kilo ohms. The Fluke 117 has a dedicated continuity function. The continuity function on the Fluke 117 is very, very quick. It's a very nice, loud beep. Using the diode function, I can place my black lead on the cathode and the red lead on the anode. And here I'm measuring a voltage drop of 0.362. If I reverse bias that diode with the positive lead on the cathode and the negative lead on the anode, I get no reading. So I know that is a good diode. The next two positions on the selector, AC amps and DC amps. This is one milliamp. On this meter, this is the best resolution I can get and is one of the limitations of this meter. This is five milliamps, this is 10 milliamps, and this is 20 milliamps. The meter is accurate, but the resolution is quite limited. This is 500 milliamps, this is one amp, and this is two and a half amps. If you're just looking for a very basic meter, something that can get the job done 99% of the time, I really think this Fluke 117 is an ideal meter. In most cases, if you need more functionality than this meter provides, you probably also need a different kind of test instrument. 
well, you may need a scope. Thank you for taking the time to watch this review. If you did enjoy this review, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.